Okay, viewers, I'm going to show you how to um, terminate the quad shield coax cable. I've got a, f a female connector and a male connector. What I've done, I've stripped it back, put the outer bit on, screws onto this outer housing. Oh, oops, hit the camera. Yeah, screws onto that. So you, push, you push this bit here on. Open that up and push that over the top over there. Push it down like that. Slide it over. Screw it on tight. Put it on. And screw it on tight. And yeah, this just bites in and holds it all together. So I do that. Put something to stand the camera on. Probably making another video one day, making a tripod for this. So yeah, I'll show you how it's done. I'll put this on. You have to open it up to make it slide over the cable too. So I'll try and just pull one handy. Put it on, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Bear with me, I'll do it. Give me a flat screwdriver. Alright. Like this. I just. Without hurting yourself, just how I like to do it. Open it up. Now we've got it opened up. We'll just pop it over here. That twisted a bit. There's different types of connectors for these, so I'm just using the uh, conventional. Yeah, this setup. There's F connectors that screw on and all that sort of stuff. And then that little screw, hold that down there. Door it up tight. The camera's gonna fall back. That was an epic fail. Yeah, bit of Chinese cheap ass connectors, but yeah, they'll work. Some work better than others, can do that. Scored on top. There you go, it's worked. That's it, done. Now I'll do this end. You gotta strip it back to there. But that's about a centimetre. But um, yeah. I'll just go by this. The female, um, male, uh, you gotta leave a bit for the male connector to go in. Don't leave it too long, probably about here, I would say. So, this is just enough to be caught, caught by the screw. So, and that was a female pin to be connected. So, I'll do this one next. Get my cable shipper, and I'll do that. Okay, now I get the Stanley knife. Oh, proceed to strip this back. You just bend it over your finger and be careful you don't cut yourself. You just cut and yeah, carefully split it open. Yeah, you do that and you work your way around, cut lightly, then you just pull and it slides off. So I'll do this off camera. So this is gonna, I'll put it all here, I'll show you a little bit of it like that. Just keep cutting in. Like that, there you go. It's a bit easier to want it this way. Under here. There. Okay, when I cut myself. Okay, now you're there. It's a little bit here. See, whoops, bump the camera again. Yeah, there we go, done. Missed the pin. Pull that back. Shift back this shielding. I usually rip that off, but you don't have to. Pull that back. The better shielding you leave on here, the less um, interference you're gonna get with your DTV signal. So just pull that one out back. There should be another wire birding on the here, but no, this one doesn't have it. Now you work your knife around here, you work it around, twist it, twist it, and you cut it off. So I'll do this behind the camera. And what you do is, 
pretty easy stuff. Now I'm gonna do the same with this one. I ain't got much nails, so yeah. First, put this on, then this one. <clears throat> you gotta bend it back more. Messy this one. The foil usually breaks off, so I just twist it. It's only a shielding. I'll pull up like that. Put this in over there. It's a bit too long, so I've got to cut it back down here. These are cable strippers. Measure it up like that. So that's going to go right in back to there, so I've got to cut. About there. There we go. Get that screw up. Done. Secure. Push hard as you can to squash this in. I don't think there's any much videos out there with these sorts of connections, so I just wanna, thought I'd do one just for the hell of it. Yeah, it's a bit stubborn, but once you push the hard, it'll bite this into your cable. Yeah. There we go. Done. That's how you can wire up a DTV coaxial cable. Oh so yeah. Thanks for watching.